Hi Virgo, this is your reading for May 2022. So let's see what we have in the oracles. We have this middle card, it says miracles on it, but this woman is associated with um, the marketplace in palm trees. She's holding palms right there. I guess that's jewelry right there. She looks really abundant, doesn't she? It almost looks like the Empress card. So she's associated with stuff like fresh plants and fruits and vegetables and miracles apparently we have an inner child and we also had over here prayers and wishes all right right here we have summertime speak less listen more which I can't imagine why this would come out for Virgo most Virgos I know are very on the quiet side very much and within a few months maybe your prayers and wishes will be come together here in a few months and then I laid out I used two different decks I have a story here and a couple of different things for the love section. This right here could have to do with love, but I think it has to do with uh, your job or hobbies and stuff like that. I feel like you're, you might be stuck in a place or you kind of feel stagnant, like you're stuck somewhere you can't get out of, but the heavens are helping you with this situation. I think you have a new idea here. Some, there's something here you want to do, but you're not sure of it. There could be a male figure that helps you along the way. Listen to your intuition. Your intuition is strong. Um, I feel like you, you just don't have the courage. It has something to do with you want to have fun. You want to have more fun. You want to you want to take some kind of risk or take a leap here and do something that maybe it's something you've always wanted to do, but you're not sure. I feel like uh, with some of these cards and all the different uh, layouts I have here, overall, I kind of feel like you are confused and not sure what to do you're having a hard time deciding something it's it's almost like yeah here I go I'm going to do this and something just stops you I don't know what it's about now this could be about love or work but I have a feeling yeah it's like you have this idea that you're just not sure about there may have been um or maybe it's coming up in May it's like you're yeah I feel like you might quit a job or something and try something new but it, once you go ahead and do this and take this take this risk, I think you're going to, maybe in the month of May or around the month of May, you will go ahead and do this. And once you do, it's going to bring you some kind of abundance. Um, it may even like put you down this path where you buy the house you've always dreamed of or something like that. Okay, and in the love situations, there's a couple of different stories here. There's one story where someone could be a female, but I'm not sure. But someone here, it's like they have this new love interest. It's going really good. And it's like this person keeps looking back. Maybe it's you. Keeps looking back at, um, it's almost like she's got her foot one in one door and one in the other. Okay, it's almost like this person has got this new love interest and they're spending all their time with that person. There's a lot of communication, a lot of love, communication, um, togetherness, and it's like this person is slowly getting where they, they're only spending time with this new lover. And it's like they, they keep thinking about the times they spent with their friends and family and stuff, and it's... It's like they're thinking about that. Like, I, oh, wow, you know, I've, I've spent so much time lately with this person. And I've, like, you're feeling like you're avoiding your your friends or family and extra people like that in your life. Because you've been spending so much time with this new person. So that's one story. And also with that person, if you have a new love interest that you're speaking to a lot, um, it's, it's still kind of unknown where this might go with this person. Oh, my gosh, Taurus had this, too. Taurus had this unknown card. It's I think the title of theirs was It's Still Unknown where this So this came out for you too. That right there is such a mysterious looking card, but but the unknown card is you're not supposed to know yet. Or there could be a couple of different paths you could take. Like maybe in the future there'll be something else come up, but but the unknown card is like spirit doesn't want you to know quite yet where this is gonna go. You know, it's gonna be a surprise. That's how I see that card too. Okay, here's a totally separate story. It's a totally separate story for someone out there. Uh, I feel like there is a, possibly a guy, a male figure here that, I don't know, I feel like there was a breakup because of a mother, a mother-in-law. One of the mothers is having a hard time and causing some 
drama, may have said some mean, harsh things. And it could have to do with like a difference of beliefs, difference of religion. It's like there's a mother or grandmother or someone else getting in the way here. Someone had to break up. And it was sad. Or it's going to happen if it hasn't happened already. But it's just a story I'm throwing out here. It's what it looks like. So yeah, there's a woman, a mother figure, someone here that's one of the person's mothers causing some fights amongst everyone. It looks like it's sad. It looks like this... These people didn't really want to break up, or maybe they're just about to be on the outs or something like that. But it looks like, it looks like a lot of you, if you're with someone or you, you know, you met a new person, it looks good. It looks like there is some love there. Like I said in the other story, it's just someone else causing problems. I think it has to do with like a difference of religion or beliefs or, or something like that. Well, Virgo, so I'm wondering if a lot of you have been into, like, eating more fruits and vegetables or or gardening or something. Virgos are very good in the garden, for sure. And, yeah, I feel like some of you are just going to feel closer to nature and stuff like that. So, Virgo, that's your reading for May 2022, and I'll see you on one of my next readings.